All right, Bruxius has been my favorite Sun and Moon Pokemon for a long time. Not anymore. I didn't think there'd be something that would come out that would make me not like Bruxius as much anymore, but they did it. Type Null. And in other countries, it's known as Code Zero. How badass is that? I, I love Type Null. This thing is amazing. If, if you have not heard about any of the Sun and Moon information, let me, let me tell you the kind of person you are. You're probably that person that breastfed until you were 16. You're probably the same person that got his lunch spit on by a lunchroom lady every day in high school. You're probably also the same person where your mom told you to cross the street during traffic. You're also the type of person that takes a full bite of a Kit Kat bar without breaking it into pieces. I mean, hell, you're probably the same person that got their diaper changed at the age of 15. Anyways, let me stop. <laughs> Type Null looks amazing. Now, right off the back, I can see this Pokemon getting a crap load of hate from people who don't even play Pokemon anymore. Like, what the hell is this thing or whatever. This thing reminds me of a Chimera or Frankenstein even. And I love it. I love horror things, guys. And it, it, it looks creepy. It's all deformed. It's like different parts and that big old mechanical thing on its head. It looks amazing. I really hope that they do something more with this guy. They have to do something more with this guy. Let's go ahead and like read his detail. He's a synthetic Pokemon, and damn, he's tall. He's 6'3". Look at this guy. Has the ability battle armor. I mean, can't get credit, so. Oh well. So, says so this Pokemon wearing this Pokemon wearing a mask has been dubbed null, meaning nothing. The shape the shapes of its front hind legs are clearly different. The reason is that Type Null was constructed to synthesize the strengths of various Pokemon, enabling it to adapt to any situation. The mask fitted to Type Null's head is a piece of equipment designed to control its latent powers. It's extremely heavy, so it also serves as a hinder Type Null's agility. To complete a certain mission, there was there was need of a Pokemon powerful enough to rival those Pokemon often spoke of in in mytholo mythology. Ugh. English is hard. But yeah, that guy is a type. No, that, that's how badass you know this thing is going to be. It's also a normal type, which kind of really threw me off. Why couldn't it have been like water steel or something? It, like the, the back legs and the tail are like heavily water. So it's like I would assume part water, but... Um, I don't know. I, I really don't know what to say about Type Null. This, this is, it, it's crazy. This guy looks amazing, sounds badass, and I just can't wait to see what they do more with this guy, guys. Like, I, I don't know. A anyway, that's all I got for right now. But please comment down below of your thoughts and opinions of this Pokemon or any of the new stuff that we know. Because I really want to know more about the Ultra Beast as well. That, that shit is crazy. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts of uh, any of the new Pokemon that are out and stuff like that. And until then, guys, darkness.